Hello everyone, I am Shruti Sinha. Hope you all are safe and sound. Today I would like to welcome you all to the virtual lecture in which we will see the logic gates of Boolean algebra. So let's get started. Let's understand what is a logic gate. So a logic gate is a basic building block of a circuit used to make a large number of electronic circuits. A gate is a circuit with one or more input signals but only one output signal. A gate is digital circuit because it can take only two values that is either high or low. There are basically two types of gates. First is fundamental gate and second is dead type gate. The fundamental gates are the basic gates which are not constructed from the other gates. These are AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. And the derived gates are the gates that are derived from the fundamental gates. These are NOR gate, NAND gate, XOR gate and XNOR gates. In which NOR gate and NAND gate are also known as the universal gates. So let's see the different types of gates together. AND, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR, XOR and XNOR gate. Let's start with the fundamental gates. The first fundamental gate is AND gate. This gate has two or more input signals but only one output signal. This gate produces output 1 when all inputs are 1. This gate is like mathematical multiplication. And the second fundamental gate is OR gate. OR gate has two or more input signals but only one output signal. This gate produces output 1 when any of the input is 1. This gate is like mathematical addition. In AND gate, we use the AND operation and in OR gate, we use the OR operation. Let me show you the truth table of the AND gate and the truth table for OR gate. These truth tables are the two input truth tables. Here A and B are the two input signals and in AND gate the output is A into B and in the truth table of OR gate the output is A plus B. This is the circuit diagram for AND gate and here we can see the circuit diagram of OR gate. The first one is the circuit diagram for AND gate. Here we can see A and B are the two inputs and there is only one output that is A into B. And in the circuit diagram of OR gate, there are also two inputs A and B and the output is A plus B. The third fundamental gate is NOT gate. It is also known as the complement gate or inverter gate. The NOT gate has only one input and one output signal. This gate is called the complement gate because it complements the input values. The output is inversely proportional to the input. In NOT gate we use the NOT operation. Let me zoom in the truth table and circuit diagram of NOT gate. Here we can see the truth table of NOT gate where there is only one input A and the one output A complement. And this is the circuit diagram of NOT gate. Here we took only single input signal that is A. There is a triangle and a ball shape in the circuit diagram of NOT gate. And then the output is A complement which is the inversely proportional of the input that is A. Let's understand the derived gates. So derived gates are the gates which are derived from the fundamental gates. So the first derived gate is NOR gate. The NOR gate is the combination of NOT gate and OR gate. It has two or more inputs but only one output. It produces output 1 when all the inputs are 0. Second derived gate is NAND gate. NAND gate is the combination of AND gate and NOT gate. It has two or more inputs but only one output. It produces 1 
when any of the input is zero. Let me zoom into the truth table of the, these gates. Here we can see the two input NOR gate truth table and two input NAND gate truth table. Here there are two inputs A and B and in the truth table of NOR gate the resultant column is A plus B's complement and in the truth table of NAND gate the last column which is the complement of A into B is the resultant value. These are the circuit diagrams for NOR gate and NAND gate. In the circuit diagram of NOR gate we can see there is the circuit diagram of NOR gate and there is the shape of ball from the NOT gate. In the similar way the circuit diagram is also the combination of AND gate and NOT gate. The third derived gate is XOR gate. An XOR gate recognizes only those pairs which have odd numbers of 1s. If both the inputs are high or low, then the output is low, otherwise it is high. The fourth derived gate is XOR gate. The XOR gate is the complement of XOR gate. That is, it recognized those pair which have even numbers of 1s. If both the inputs are high or low, then the output is high, otherwise it is low. Here we can see the truth table of XOR gate and the truth table of XNOR gate. In XOR gate, when the input values are different, the output is 1. And in the XNOR gate, when the input values are similar, then the output is 1. This is the circuit diagram for XOR gate. This is the circuit diagram for XNOR gate. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.